Hi there, my lesson plan templates just got a huge update and I wanted to give you a quick file tour so that you can see what all the different templates look like and have a, um, a little preview. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm just gonna do a quick walkthrough of each of them. Format one here is a traditional block format. This is the template that I use every day in my classroom. It is a block format. This one here has um, a space to plan for centers and then it has um, an area to plan for guided reading groups as well. Format two is about the same. It just does not have those boxes to plan for your center activities. Format three is when it starts to look a little different. There is a full page for every day of the week and um, you can lay out all of your subject areas and timeframes and then also plan um, to collaborate with a coworker if you co-teach and write in any accommodations. Plan four is another day-by-day -day style. Um, it is just in case you need more space to write about each part of your school day. And again, it's color coded by day. And then now we're moving into the new updates. So the first one is um, one that I use throughout the year and it is the school year planning. There are two versions of this one. I'm only gonna show you one. There's quarterly and trimester. My school's on quarterly, so I kind of fill this out throughout the school year, and it looks a little bit overwhelming, but it really helps me when I'm planning in between school years because I can make a quick note about different subject areas. So, for example, I start teaching. I started teaching sight words about this point in this current school year, and so I've just um, I can keep track of what sight words I'm teaching in what order, and then I can refer back to this from year to year. And of course, school years don't always work exactly the same, but it is helpful to see um, what you taught when. So you can just keep updating on top of the same document. And then of course, because it's Google Sheets, it is all the way editable, so you can adjust the width and height of the columns and rows and um, all of the text in them. Two new documents that may help you as you are distance learning um, in your district is the short-term planning doc and then a really easy to read lesson plan. So the short-term planning document, and it's almost like the full year one, um, but what I did is I made all of these boxes so that the text can wrap so I can show you how to do that really quickly. If you select the cells that you'd like to do that with, and then at the top you can choose um, that the cells can only be as wide as the text or how you would like them to look. I chose that the text would wrap. So if I type more than the width of the cell, it will automatically make the cell taller and let it overflow like a paragraph. The last format I forgot to open are these easy block plans and it just looks really simple. These would be great to share with parents. On your document, um, you can click the link on your lesson plans and watch a video all about how you can customize these and use these to share materials with your parents. But again, it's a pretty simple block plan so that you can fill in different tasks and plan your materials. Thanks so much for watching.